If you think you're too old for a backpack, I strongly urge you to consider a leather backpack. I have an extraordinary amount of leather satchels, like messenger bags, which are cool as and I did a video on the best ones up there somewhere if you want to check that out. The thing is though, like, I mean, no one wants to acknowledge this, but backpacks are healthier. Like there, there are actually a lot of studies on this, the uneven weight distribution of like carrying a bunch of weight on one side curves the spine and contributes to all these neck and back problems. And even if you don't overload your bag, like I do, even if you're just like carrying a laptop, you know that you need to switch shoulders throughout the day and you're often like holding it in place like that when you're walking around. And anyway, I, I still wear messages. But backpacks are, they're a million times better for you and they keep your hands free and you can look like a grown up with the right backpack. Today, I'm looking at a wide range of them. I got the best overall, the best for the office. I've got a really cool Indonesian one and more. Also, the second backpack I'm talking about here today has a super temporary discount code. They only gave me for seven days after publishing this video. It's there, but I'm still talking about my most used one first. The best overall, let's just jump into it. I am obsessed with the backpack from Satchel and Page. This is a beautifully designed bag. It's just the right balance of minimalism and like feature, featureful, featureness, if that's a word. I mean, look, check it out. I spent the whole summer using this bag in Italy and England. I just took it with me everywhere. It works while I was wearing shorts and sneakers or loafers and a button down. It just, just slaps this bag. The design is minimalist again, but it has everything you need. You've got a single panel of leather here for the front. So there's none of that like busy stitching that you get with cheaper bags, which stitch together multiple pieces of leather, which does save on cost, but it does affect durability by giving it more places to tear. But more importantly than that, it just doesn't look as good. This is like smooth, it's handsome, it has a lifetime warranty as well. And it's got separate back compartments for two laptops if you need it. There are internal zippered pockets. The interior is lined with suede instead of nylon, which is very, very fancy. It comes with a pass-through luggage strap you can attach to the back as well. The straps are lined also with suede here for comfort. But the real feature, of course, is the leather itself, though. This is Italian vegetable tanned leather, the kind of leather that comes with a certification from the Italian vegetable tanned leather consortium because it is that hard to make. I don't want to spend too much time on tanning techniques here, but like suffice it to say, just about 1% of all leather worldwide made today is vegetable tan these days because it's so high skill and time consuming. It's the way leather was made thousands of years ago with natural tannins from tree and bark extracts. And it makes a leather that's unbelievably durable and will last long enough to pass down to your grandchildren. And it's hot stuff with a ton of oils and waxes to give this really nice luster and depth of character that just gets better with age. When you think in your mind's eye about beautiful old leather, you're thinking of leather exactly like this. It just gets better every Every day you own it and the combination of the best bag leather I've ever seen and the best and most versatile backpack design I've ever seen there's there's just no question it's, this is the best leather backpack overall one potential drawback with Sashel and Page is they only come in one color they might have black by the time you see this but right now if you're looking for a leather backpack that can be like maybe dressed up a bit more easily you might be interested in Carl Friedrich. This is Carl Friedrich's Bowen. This is a cool company. They're based in London, although the packages they send me come from Amsterdam, and, and the name reflects the German and Swedish ancestry of the founders. They're, they're European. Anyway, it's a European brand, European bags, man, with a strong streak of Swedish minimalism running through it. Definitely this like stark off-center zipper here makes me think of some kind of Scandinavian artwork or some kind of like ultra modern piece of apparel. So it is a more modern look than, than Satchel and Page, but the leather is still really interesting because this is Vaketa leather. That's vegetable tanned leather, but it, it's even rarer. It differs in that it's, it's usually calfskin and it has a really, really high fat content. So it's uh, very, very soft for vegetable tanned leather, which is usually quite hardy and takes a long time to soften up. Vaketa is often seen on high-end designer bags like Prada and Coach. The ones Carl Friedrich use have a more uniform color than Satchel and Page. It doesn't have the kind of uh, like pull-up effects, what they call it, when you get variations of tone and color throughout the bag. So that more uniform and simple look uh, makes it dress up more easily, especially if you get a black one like this, but there's some other really cool colors. Carl Friedrich's thing is that they use materials and craftsmanship you'd get in the four-figure price range, but they sell it in the three-figure price range. So the current price tag might make you raise an eyebrow, but if you're someone who's really interested in these kind of high-end European designer brand bags, like that kind of aesthetic, you'll be pretty happy with the price. The price uh, does change every time I go to the website, by the way. They're always like refining the best price point for conversions. This is the current price, but you know, I don't know what it'll be when you see it. 
Materials are great though. And with that modernism comes some stuff that Satchel and Page doesn't have. Like it has micro adjustable shoulder straps and it has Italian nylon canvas lining that's much easier to clean than suede. Let me tell you that. The Bowen is minimalist. Like it's not jam packed with pockets and compartments. Uh, the front pocket here as well, it's like it's like flush against the bag, right? So it's, it's really hard to get stuff out when it's really, really full. But it's a dressy backpack that is, it's not designed to be as functional as possible. It's meant to be like smart and dressy minimalistic, I gotta stop saying that word, and and European. And it's made with really, really high quality materials. So if that's your vibe, you'll be pretty happy, I think, with this price point and with this product. All right, let's get weirder. We're gonna continue our trip around the world to the hottest place in leather goods right now, which is Indonesia. If you need explaining as to why everyone is psyched about Indonesian boots and bags, uh, you can check out my guide to Indonesian boot brands up there. This bag is Krava. It's an extremely cool and extremely tiny company, independent company in Jakarta, Indonesia, that has become world renowned in their quality. They also use a vegetable tanned leather they developed themselves. It's tanned over several months in a series of pits with increasingly higher concentrations of tannins. And while they're not as cheap as they used to be, uh, I mean, what is though, right? Like leather in particular has been really slammed with inflation lately. The but the cost here is inclusive of shipping costs. So there's no stress about getting to checkout and then finding a $50 shipping from Indonesia fee, right? Design wise, when I showed this to a friend who makes leather bags, he said, hey, that looks like a hunting backpack. So we let's say this is a good bag for hunting. It's like a very rugged outdoor sort of feeling this bag. I will know that one of the few bummers with vegetable tanned leather is that it is not as great in the rain as chrome tanned leather, but Krava has made videos of their bags sitting in Indonesian thunderstorms for a full day and the leather was like fine and it kept the contents dry as well. This is a very distinctive look, hard to dress up, but I'd consider it a great option for a roomy pack for hikes and like for college students, provided you keep in mind that this much leather does make for a heavier backpack than nylon. It's very roomy, 21 liters. Uh, they've got a smaller one called the Work Pack, if you're more interested in that. And one of the other interesting hooks with this brand is that they usually don't do zippers because they don't want any breakable parts so that it'll last forever. Indeed, this does have a lifetime warranty as well. So there are actually no zips anywhere on this bag. It closes with this uh, flap top with studs that protect the corners. But there's a lot of functionality here as well. There's an extra compartment here in the front for a laptop or papers, in addition to the laptop sleeve in the interior. There are several flat pockets in here as well and two exterior slips for a water bottle or for keys. And it's just like really, really distinctive. Like it has a bag that has a lot of personality to it. The downsides are like th this company is so into leather that they made the closure system on the inside here, a leather, like a leather drawstring like this, which is a bit unwieldy. Not that you really need to knot it closed too much because the closure system is so secure here. It also takes a really long time for the leather to soften. This leather is really, really stiff when you first get it because it's so vegetable tanned and it's not ultra fatty like the last couple bags we looked at. But Cravaz bags still age very, very nicely. Here are some pictures of their messenger bags after a ton of wear. I, I think they look really, really cool. All right, so we've got the best backpack overall. We've got the best for the office, the best rugged outdoorsy one. The last one I wanna show you is gonna be a good option if you are not super interested in spending over 500 bucks on a backpack. This one here is the Manhattan from Andar. This bag, it basically looks like a combination of the first two bags, like from Satchel and Page and Carl Friedrich together, but at a less uh, premium price, right? This is chrome tanned leather. There are just two ways of tanning leather, by the way. And I mean, there's like two and a half. There's like vegetable tanning, chrome tanning, and combination tanning, which uses elements of both. Chrome tanning leather just takes like a day or two or three, whereas vegetable tanning can take like weeks and months sometimes. So that's why vegetable tan leather is generally more expensive. Chrome tanning is cheaper, but it also makes for a leather that is softer and more flexible most of the time. Like actually when it comes to shoes and boots, I accept uh, people preferring chrome tan leather, even though it's less traditionalist because uh, comfort and softness is like more of an issue. That's not really so much of a thing with bags, like you're not like wearing them on your feet or anything. So I tend to prefer vegetable tan for bags, that said, when I got this bag, it was just like, ooh, yeah, this is nice and soft and flexible and just really easy to work with. And I was reminded that chrome tan leather can actually be really lovely and useful uh, a lot of the time. So even though it's a bag and not a shoe, uh, if you want something that's like softer from the get go and easier to break in, uh, yeah, there's this chrome tan bag here that uh, I think is, is pretty solid. So I got this in tan, mostly because I have a bunch of brown bags, you can see, and I figured I'd get something, you know, something different. I thought it'd look cool with a denim jacket as well. Probably for this video, I should have gotten a brown one because uh, I'm making this with the assumption that you'll just buy one leather backpack instead of a million like me because you're probably not a maniac. But 
So here's the brown one. This is the brown one on screen. This is this one's probably more your speed. There's also a black one. I think this one looks pretty cool with like my my denim jacket or with like one of my my blue canvas jackets. So that's that's what I wanted to wear. That's what I wanted to wear with blue. So it's a really good chrome tan leather. It's very oily and waxy for a good amount of color variation or pull up, especially in the brown color. Actually, it's nice and sleek with these recessed pockets that wind up flush from the outside. And there's also a cool handle here that rests pretty flush, but you can grab it if you decide to make it more of a carry bag. It's got three main zippered compartments, plenty of interior zippered pockets, like a, like a lot of them. One thing I really like is the discreet pocket against the back here if you are stressed about like your passport or wallet getting nicked, like that. The interior is canvas lined, which I really like. There are good arguments for nylon, but if your thing is natural materials, the combination of leather and canvas is like as classic as peanut butter and jelly. If you can only wear two things, if you can only combine two materials in one bag or one outfit, Canvas and leather is what people tend to pick. The Manhattan is a nice versatile balance of business and casual and functionality and minimalism. Boy, I cannot, I cannot stop saying minimalism. I don't know any, I don't know if there's any synonyms for that word, but I, that's, that is what dudes tend to like anyway, like minimalism in their leather bags. And it's, it's less risky when you go that way. So uh, yeah, I think I think it's a really good balance uh, and it's uh, it could work in like a bunch of situations as well. All right, so those, that's my list of the best leather backpacks. I really, really like these ones. Um, I know these kinds of videos normally have five picks, but I really just thought this video was long enough as it is. But uh, I've got an article in the description below uh, to on my website, and that's going to have like some runners up. So if you want to have a few more options that I really like out there, uh, check that out. And also in the comments, let me know if you have any favorite leather backpacks, because it's, it's a pretty tough balance to get. Uh, I know a lot of you probably just turn up your nose in the Manhattan just because it's so bright orange color, but that, that's just because I have so many brown bags. Uh, if you check out that brown one, I think it might be your speed. I think it's, it's it's a pretty good option that uh, works in a lot of situations. That's my video. Hey, subscribe, man, if you just wound up here, because I got more videos on durable things, especially leather and canvas and all sorts of stuff, bags and boots and jackets uh, coming up. So that's what you like. Subscribe, and I'll see you for the next video.